Stashi. Yes. Do you think they're really watching? They better be. Who you think is watching? Oh, don't even say it. Because last week, we can see that they went to watch that video about um, the amazing gift. I know, that's right. And I'm so excited to tell them about the amazing gift this week. Part two, the sequel, the remix. Get it in, get hey. it, get it in, get it, get it in, get it, get it in, get it. Oh, oh. man, eh, 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 great, eh, 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 how sweet. Uh, uh, uh. What? Eat the sound. Salsa shoulders. I was like, really? Karate? Who? <laughs> 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 Mr. Ramsey. What is it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> Who? Wow. Okay. Really? We got to get back to this. Really, Mr. Because, Ramsey? Because, yo, we've been talking about this about the grace. Like, it is a gift that God has given grace us. Grace is amazing. And last week we had the. Christmas like because yes. with Jesus in our life, Christmas is every month. It is. Every because day. he was the greatest Come gift. On. The greatest gift. Mm. And not only did he give us Jesus, he Come granted on. us grace. You know what song just came to me? Tell me. That Bravis Cave song. Which you one? You are the greatest gift. Come on. Us. Hey. And you are put my trust. Hey. He is the greatest gift to us. In mm. Him we'll put our trust. We will forever. Hey! Worship. Come on! Ooh, we better stop before we're gonna get in the worship. Oh, no, that's right. And this worship. is my worship app. Come on, oh. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is my worship app. I can tell. <laughs> Cause that had the been through the storm. I told the storm, hey, I'm not gonna play with you. I'm not gonna play with you, Ramsey. I'm here for our baby. You know what? We gotta get back to the story <laughs> because now they're running up to the TV and probably somebody's hitting that TV and saying, "Mommy, look, it's Mr. Ramsey and Miss Nastasi." Hi, babies. You think they said it that way? Uh-uh, they didn't say it like that. You say it like Mario. No. <laughs> no. Meet my brother, Mr. Lamb. No. <laughs> but kids, we are so excited. It's another yes. week. We get to share God's word with you right in your living room with your parents. Mr. Ramsey, could you remind them of their memory verse that we gave them last week? We want to know who remembers it. You're talking about Ephesians chapter 2? Uh-huh. Eight through nine, nine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where God talked about the, that grace is a gift. That grace is a gift. Mm, that He yes. gave us. Hello. A gift. Hello. And that gift. Okay. Jesus. Hey. Brought forth. Come on. Grace. Right. So God's grace has saved you mm. because of your faith. Wow. In Christ. In Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. Mm -hmm. I'll say that again. Your grace. Yes. No, let me say that again. Your salvation. Your salvation. Doesn't come from anything that you do. Doesn't come from anything that you do. No. Yo. It is just God's gift. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that you can do. So you're telling me that cleaning the living room? I don't have to clean the living room to get salvation? No, you don't have to clean the living room. Or wash the dishes? No, God gave us that as a gift. Or fix my bed? Mm. Or uh, tie my shoe? Nope. How about brush my teeth? Nah. How about... Play Minecraft? Yeah. Mm -mm. What about Fortnite? Hmm. Because they be showing out on Fortnite. Wow. All I hear is when I go see my little brothers, oh man, yeah, 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 no, jump, leap. You know, I got, I got my little nephew, Samaj. <laughs> Samaj, he loves to play his game with mm -hmm. his cousins all over the place. They're always talking on the game and they love to play. I don't know what it is about these Fortnites and these games. I know. But you know what I do know? What? What do you know, brother? About the story. Hello. Uh, the greatest gift. I know that that's gave. right. And let me tell you another thing. The, our focal this week is people and children and friends and family always saying, hey, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. Mm. And sometimes we feel like we have to fix things. We feel like if we've done something wrong, we have to fix it. Mm. Instead of asking for help. Mm. When you can ask for help. 
And guess who else we don't? We don't ask God for help. And God can fix anything, but we think that we can do it. Why do you feel like we can, why do you feel like we're afraid to ask God for help? Because it's just like the gift that we had everybody to make last week. Remember that gift, Mr. Ramsey? Yeah, you're talking about the broken car. Hold on, don't do my, don't do my, don't do my <laughs> gift like that. People think that they can fix it. They think that they can put it together, put tape around it and fix it themselves. And you know why we do that? Why? Because we try to make up for what we've done wrong. So when we've done bad things, we try to make up for it. So, are you telling me that after I have been a bully to somebody, I go and give them candy as if I apologize? Yeah, because we try to cover it up. Mm. We try to cover up the bad thing with good things. Wow, that right. doesn't sound like it's right. Yeah, or we try to hide it. We try to hide the box. We try to hide things. We try to cover things up and do a lot of good things to make up for the bad. But guess what the truth is? What is the truth? None of it makes the bad things go away. So what makes the bad things go away? Because you keep saying that no matter how much good we do, it doesn't make the bad thing goes away. So what makes the bad thing goes away, Miss Nastasi? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you a little story about salvation. Mm -hmm. That's a gift. See, here's the really good news. It's not our job to fix what's wrong. That's why God sent Jesus, his son. You don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in, because you know sometimes we try to make up stuff to fit in. You don't That's have true. to do that. A lot of kids do try to pick certain friends because they want to be quote unquote uh, about that life. About that life. Or, in there. You know, I said that so corporate, you know. I know. Life, yeah, I heard like, it. Uh, yeah. Life. I think you think you're a like, professor. About that life. No, nah, like, it's about that life. He said, you said, yeah, you know they want to be about that life. <laughs> Definitely not it. You're not here. But they really want to fit in. They want to fit they, in. They, they want to feel like they're the coolest person on whether, well, on the phone, because now COVID, hello. Thank you, Professor. There's no school. But um, <laughs> they want to fit in, seriously. But this is the thing. Yeah. God loves you. Mm. He accepts you the way you are. Mm. Flawed and all, no matter what you've done or no matter what you will do, God loves you. He loves you. And you can't work to earn his love. Wow. So you can't make up for the bad things that you've done. You, there's nothing you can do. God loves you. But you know what? That's why I love that in Ephesians chapter 2 on mm -hmm. verse 10, it talks about, you know, God's handiwork. We are his handiwork. Right. You know, he comes and he works in us. He creates in us those new things. That's right. Right? Because when he gave us his gift, when he gave us Jesus, and, 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 and salvation was right. brought forth, this was a way for God creating us and giving us something better than what we could ever deserve. And that's salvation. That's what's up, Ramsey. You be hitting on that. I tell that. I Thank appreciate you, Holy, that, Professor. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Benjamin. <laughs> Give me a Boo. <laughs> Tomato. <laughs> Get back to the story, Mr. Stasi. They're still watching. So let's take another look at the one of the letters that Paul wrote. Yes. So God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Mm. Salvation is God's gift. That means that when we put our trust in Jesus, God forgives us all. All the wrong things that we've done, all the wrong things that we will do, we put our faith in Jesus. Wow. We believe that he died on the cross to pay the price for our sins. We believe, that means you and I, we believe that he died on the cross. To pay the price for our sins. Wow. He paid the price for every single sin we've already committed yes. and every single sin we will ever commit in the future. But this is the thing. Because we know that we want to do right by God. I know I do, Mr. Ramsey. I don't like to let God down. But Mrs. Stashi, what happens to the kids who take advantage of God's gift? Who takes advantage of the grace? They know, okay, they go back Sunday. Oh God, forgive me. I'm sorry, Lord. I lied to my parents. I did that. Monday come, 
They lie about eating the cereal early in the morning, lied about eating all the sweets, lied about maybe taking somebody and talking back to their parents. What if they continue to do it every week? What happens then? Look, Miss Tashi is not going to make it seem like it's butterflies and lilies and ice cream cake and slap on the wrist. Or cookies and cream. Right. You need to stop eating the cookies and cream. I do. Because this is why we in this boat. You're right. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, when you know God and you love God, Yes. And you honor God. There is something in you that wants to choose to do the right thing. Because when you do that, you can't hide it. You can't wrap up this gift when you're not right inside. God knows you better than anybody. Wow. God knows you better than yourself. You're right. So you're not fooling him. You're right. Because Ephesians chapter 2, again, verse 10, talks about, for we are God's handiwork. That's right. So he knows us from in and out, out to in. He does. And oh salvation is a gift. I, why didn't I think about that? I don't know, but I appreciate you thinking about it. Oh, I love you, Mr. Right. Scott. I love you too, brother. So, Jesus did all of the work of paying for our sins. We didn't do nothing. 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 That means that there's nothing we can do to earn God's love. And there's nothing that we can do that will not cause him. He's going to love us. He loves us anyway. So there's which nothing is huge. we can do to mm -mm. earn God's love. No. And yeah. he paid, Jesus paid for our sins. He paid for it all. That's like you ordering something to eat. And all of a sudden, you take your allowance money and you're getting ready to pay it. And guess what? Somebody paid it for you already. So, God sent Jesus to clean up the mess we've made and turn it into something beautiful. Wow. That's why, as children of God, mm -hmm. we are made beautifully and we are wonderfully made. Right. Is that your professional voice? Uh, I, I was trying to match your voice because, oh. yeah, uh, I felt like the kids were <laughs> really tuned in with your voice, so I really wanted to channel the same sounds. Well, did you sounds. did did you just hear this lesson? There's nothing that you can do. You're right. There's nothing that you can do. You're right. He made you beautiful. He yes. likes. He made your voice your voice. Thank you. And your voice is bringing in children too. If you guys like my voice. Subscribe to that channel right now and click like or write in the comment. Tell your parents, write in the comment. Mr. Ramsey voice is cool. C-O-O-L. Cool. I thought you were going to say K. K, like Kool-Aid. K. -O -O <laughs> well, guys, we're so glad that you tuned in for this yes, lesson. Yes. But remember that Jesus paid it all. Yes. Salvation is a gift. Yes. And don't forget about his amazing grace. Yes. And remember, faith, trusting in what you can't see mm -hmm. because of what you can see. Jesus is a gift for everyone. You can trust God no matter what. If Jesus is a gift for everyone, make sure during this time, during COVID and pandemic, you let your friends know that Jesus loves them too. Remind your parents. They could be dealing with a lot during right, this season. Right. Remind them how Jesus loves them and how Jesus is the gift for whatever they need. And that he paid it all. He paid it all. Oh. All on the cross, you bled and died. I'm dancing. Oh me. Thank you. You're welcome. Lamb. Lion. <laughs> We love you guys yes. so much. Listen, we miss you all so much. Continue to subscribe to this channel. We want to make sure that in the comments, you can say who is watching because the next video, we don't know if we might say your name, but we will go through those comments and see who's writing in those comments. And to any child that is watching that yes. doesn't feel like you are valuable or doesn't feel like you are loved, be reminded that God sent children here as a gift. As a gift. As a gift. So you are all our gifts as well. Yeah. We love you and we're hugging you. Here, yes. hug our kids, Mr. Ramsey. Oh Lord. <laughs> he holding you like he holding y'all like a football. Blue! What did you? Blue! What did you? <laughs> Whoa. Oh! <laughs> But Miss Nastasha, guess what? It's what? time for a prayer. Okay. So shall we pray? And if you have a prayer request, request, 
You can email us at Ramsey at TKCI.org. Or Nastashi at TKCI.org. Let me spell my name for my baby. Spell it. It's N-A-S-T-A-S-S-H-I at TKCI.org. Did you see me move? I saw you. S-T-A-S-S-H-I. My mama gave me a lot of letters. TKCI.org. Mm-hmm. Man, that was tell. You almost your name almost stole the whole alphabet. You know what? You disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stashi, it's time for prayer. You ready? Yes. Kids, are you ready? Yeah! Bow your heads. That was and the kids' close your eyes. Do not wink with your left. I got you. I told you, close your eyes. Ava. Come on. Close your eyes. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time that we were able to spend virtually with these amazing beautiful yes, children that you have blessed us with to give this word yes, the amazing God. gift. So God, we pray that in this season, as the kids are at home or whatever they're doing for the summer, as they're watching this on the YouTube channel or wherever they are, that you will continue to be with them. Allow them to understand that they don't have to work for anything. Yes, it's God. been paid for by your son, Jesus Christ. And I pray that they will understand that this word that talks about grace is a gift that they will yes, not take advantage God. of it, but they will embrace it. They will love it. They will cherish it. They will adore it. And that they will have a better understanding of how to build this relationship with you as they continue to go. Even though that we make mistakes, even yes. though we have a lot of mess or things that we do, we pray, God, that you'll continue to love us. You'll continue to hug us. You'll continue to love each and every child who's watching this. Yes, even God. their parents. Touch their parents. Yes, they make God. mistakes. We all make mistakes, but we know that your grace is more than anything that we can ever, ever, ever have because it's not something we can earn. It's something that's been given to us yes, as a gift God. from you. So we thank you and we pray until we meet again in church. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you continue to rest on us, give us peace, give us strength, and love us right where we are. In Jesus' name, name we, we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. Remember to follow God, babies. Love people. And change, change the, the city. city. See you all next week. <laughs>